TFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials down 247, NASDAQ off 36, S&Ps down 18. And we had up here, folks, uh, you know, bottom line is that you're still uh, in window dressing here. Uh, and there's a little window breaking going on out here. Uh, what you had, you had the S&P as well as the NASDAQ and the small caps uh, trying to get up and over the uh, October 17th, the November 6th, as well as the December 3rd highs. And you get failures uh, all over the place. Bottom line was fast, furious. Uh, going up, gave it up in spades, pulling back. Um, has volume on the pullback, too. So I suspect what you're going to see out here, a little more volatility coming into the close, and you're going to see lower prices. Gold contract. Gold contract uh, get down into its swing point. It has rejected lower price uh, at that swing point. Uh, it traded down to 1283.80 today. Uh, and the swing point that we're talking about uh, is actually the sign of strength from the 25th of January. Uh, and that number is 1284.80. Now, our 1288.20. Uh, if you actually take a look at the, the equities inside the metals market, they're acting really well. Uh, the GDX, only had 26 million shares traded, gets under the uh, high of Friday, which is 78, was going into how we went topside on, at the end of January, dramatically lighter volume. Uh, those equities want higher price, lower yield. We go ahead and we take a look at the 10-year uh, year, ten year note. That's up eight ticks, 121.28. 30-year bonds up 19, 144.13. In both cases, folks, they rejected lower price. They had lighter volume, and they're going topside once again. Just keep your eye on this bond market because that has been the most consistent market out here as to uh, where it wants to go, number one, and what that has to do with the S&P. I suspect what we're going to see once again you're going to see notes and bonds, higher price, lower yield. King dollar. King dollar is still fighting it out. Bulls and bears in a huge way. The King dollar on Friday, we went topside. You had volume behind the move on Friday. Today, it's dying on the vine. That being said, though, you know, we did 31,000 contracts on Friday. Today, you have 15. Now, we haven't given it up on price. The dollar index would have to close under 96,475. And we're at 96,605. You close up there, probability is still it's going to try to test either the high or the low of the high, which is that 96,660 mark. Stay right there, folks. You can expect some high volatility coming into this close out here today. Dow Industrials are down 272. NASDAQ is off 41. S&P is down 21. Coming right back.